So I wanted to take another crack at my no recoil rival nine build back from season four and see if we can make it have even less recoil. As you guys know, with the introduction of the trabuche break, that really changed the game for the rival nine in the sense of recoil control. So what I've done is changed up a few things to give it even less recoil than my last one. Starting here with my first attachment, I do have the MTZ Marauder stock for gun kick control, aiming idle sway and fire aiming stability. I would say the most important part of this particular attachment is going to be the fire aiming stability as it's going to control a lot of the visual shake on the weapon. The gun kick is also no slouch though at 10% there. Another attachment to target recoil control is the rival vice assault grip for gun kick control, fire aiming stability and recoil control. Basically everything that we need to cover here with this one attachment it's going to be another 10 percent to that gun kick along with seven percent to the horizontal and vertical recoil control over here to my under barrel i have the x10 phantom 5 hand stop and this is where things start to change in my prior build, I used the DR6 hand stop, where as you guys can see, we were gaining more towards that aim down sight speed at 10%, whereas we're gaining also more mobility. The X10 Phantom 5 hand stop isn't going to give you that mobility gain, but it's going to give you the same ADS and sprint to fire speed increase with more recoil control at 4% to the gun kick and 5% to the vertical recoil control. For my muzzle, the trabuche break once again, because this is the most important attachment when it comes down to all the recoil control. You can see it's a massive 25% to the gun kick, along with 15% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. So all we did here is really change that under barrel to give it a little bit more towards that vertical and gun kick side. In my final attachment is the Rival C clear shot barrel for aim or aiming at sway, bullet velocity, damage range, along with recoil control. As you guys can see here, it's the only one that really does give you damage range, which was the only thing left to cover. It's gonna be 13% there to that damage range, 15% of the bullet velocity. On top of that, we are also gaining even more recoil control. So for the most part, the Rival 9 builds you see on YouTube don't really change, and that's kind of why I've taken a different approach here. Everybody kind of uses the pro build and calls it a day. I kind of wanted to change it up a bit and we are getting more and more attachments added into the game. For example, we got the new quartermaster suppressor. So I may try to make a build with that or even the paracord under barrel. We're going to see. I want to kind of change up a lot of my builds and my approaches to see if we can kind of change what everybody's using here. So again, if you guys want to copy this down, make sure you do so. Here is also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys also wanted to copy this down, let's jump over to six stars so we can get super aggressive while also featuring the very limited recoil pattern we have here on the rival night. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I wanted to put a little bit more of a spin on that last rival nine build I released where I targeted like no recoil. So I've added even more recoil attachments with this under barrel while still maintaining the same aim down sight speed. So the, this under barrel, the, I, you normally use the DR6 hand stop, right? The DR6 hand stop gives you the same aim down sight speed as the current under barrel I am running. Oh my God. That's all of you. Hi. There they are. I can't stay here. Now I'm really might be up. I'm in trouble. Oh my God. I can't believe I just came out of that alive. I didn't really put the movement on him. So I'm confused how I pulled that off. Based on the we're spawning here. I'm trying to figure this out. So I think they might be over there. I got a feeling they're coming. Oh, there's one behind me. Oh, it's horrendous timing. I'm going to dip. I'm going to go this way. I need this advanced UAV, which means I'm like two kills off, I believe. There's our VTOL. Requesting close air. Target marked. That's what I needed. Wait for this to come in. This next hill is always sketchy. I don't want to take this the normal way I would.
I'm going to try to go on the long flank here. I'm not going to approach this from the front. The, this other team is very aggressive heavy uh, on LBJ. So I vibe with that. But it makes it a little more challenging for me when I'm playing as aggressive as I am to take that head, gunfight head on. So if I can hopefully get around the back here, maybe get a spawn flip. Where the heck did you just come from? Target area marked, you're cleared hot. Solid copy. One, two, three, one on station. Scanning for hostile. Taking fire! Sun tech's out! Need recon overhead. Alright, that was big. DNA bomb. <laughs> you know, it's funny that so many people probably don't know about this little, uh, little spot right here i'm waiting for this grenade because there's a guy right over there this is what i need i need this grenade to go off that's what i needed now i can sneak through get your head in the gate Big. Good job, team. I got to be close to another advanced UAV here. What do I want to do? I'm going to go this way. This guy is AFK. He's been AFK for a minute here. That guy has. Requesting close air. Target marked. Another one there. Need recon overhead. Changing mags. Target area updated. Move to the hard point. Be ready to deploy. Where are we going? Nah. Yeah, you're not getting away. The 40 gun streak. I'm going to go DNA bomb. Should give me an opportunity to push back here. They're, yep, that's exactly what I need. I needed to push back here. Now they should all be in front of us. They did just spawn behind us as well, though. I'm just on constant VTOL lap here. Can we kick this AFK guy? He must be moving enough that they're not kicking him because he's been AFK for a long time. It's weird. He is. That's him. So I was right. He, he just randomly keeps moving. I just always happen to catch him when he's AFK. Sixty-one. I just got bailed out heavy by my uh my VTOL there. Exactly what the doctor cooked up there was that VTOL popping off for me. I'm just seriously on loop. I'm in flow state. Absolute flow state. I actually got to pay attention because the other team is so good at the objective. 
that they're not really giving my team much of a chance here. See, they took the lead, which is not vibey. If I stay here, they're probably up. One, two, they're gonna come from the other side now. Oh, that would have been a snap in a half. Holy smokes, if you imagine if I pulled that off. You owe me one. Oh, we're split spawn like crazy. Yeah, we're getting pinched. Good job, team. Now we're now we're figuring it out. Got him on the run. Keep it up. Enemy KI. Seems like every time I go on a streak here, I'm just popping off. Not much you can do in that kind of situation. I mean, he spawned in. I just spawned in next to him. Okay. 96 kills. I mean, I kind of choked 100, but not really. That was a very productive game on uh, not only the recoil side, like longer range fights, but like I was aggressive as heck too.